nice guys. It's a beachfront. I'll tour you guys later. Who found it? Me. me. One and only me. But it's actually a huge place and I'll take you guys around. <laughs> resort we're staying here for three days and i'm gonna show you guys around let's go we're gonna start upstairs let's go upstairs ma. my mom's behind the camera this is just a spare balcony that we don't really use because we mostly hang out at the front so if you come through this way this is the entrance to the upstairs and then in this door is a bedroom this is the bedroom with a bunk bed that has a pull-out mattress that you can pull out like this so it can fit a lot of people in this room about one two three four five five people and then if we come out this is a common space where you, you can just chill eat and there's also a kitchen they can use here we don't really use it but then if you head this way and then here is the second balcony where you can just chill and it has a hammock swing. I don't know what it's called. What's it called, Ma? It's the eggnog swing. <laughs> but look at the view, guys. It's so nice. Nice. Okay. And then if you guys come down, this is where we chill and do our karaoke. As you guys can see, they're already eating and doing the karaoke. And then if you go this way, outside there's two toilets, two restrooms that you can easily access. And then follow me. <laughs> this is where we eat mainly in the shade, main dining area, I think. But then in this door is also a bedroom, double bed. Nice. And a desk. And then this way, is also a, a five bed room but i'm not going to show you because someone's sleeping this room and the upstairs has an aircon the other two is just electric fan and then this way is another restroom for anyone to use very easily accessible and you can i think you can all shower here as well yeah, yeah. and a sink and then here there's two shower areas which is nice. ING Beach Resort. <laughs> a bench. <laughs> and then the bar to just lounge around and mag inuman. <laughs> ah, here we have another four bedroom, can be five, kasi my mattress na pwede mo pull out then. Ito, pool table na ginamit nila din kahapon. Pero naka cover, so hindi natin yan aanahin. <laughs> and then the last thing. Yung kitchen. Medyo makalat. <laughs> Kasi nagkainan na. Fully equipped kitchen. Microwave. Cutleries fully equipped. And then mga lutoan here. And then well, I'll take you guys outside where everyone is. This is like a kitchen for the pool. Karaoke area. And everyone's eating. Hi. Everyone say hi. 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 <laughs> this is main close-up of the Bahai Kubo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> this is the pool. Six. It goes up to six feet deep. Ah! <laughs> nice. 
Hey guys, excuse the outfit change because this is actually day two of our stay here in La Union but I wanted to give you guys more information on pricings and how to book this place out because I do recommend it, it's really nice and it's nice to have family time. So we're staying here for three days and two nights and we booked through Facebook because we did message her through Messenger. We found her on Airbnb which she does have a link there if you do want to book on there to be safe but we ended up booking through messenger and she just blocked off the dates because when we asked her on messenger it was actually much cheaper than if we were to book on airbnb because price on airbnb adds more on to it because of the fees that you have to pay which equivalated to 39,000 pesos which was almost 40,000 pesos for the whole stay in comparison to because we booked through facebook we paid 30,000 pesos so 10k is a lot of a difference so just keep that in mind but when you you do book through facebook when you message her you do have to pay a 30 percent deposit to secure it so if you guys have any more questions just leave them down below and i will try to answer it but yes i hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog hello everyone <laughs> i may look so sweaty right now because i am <laughs> but we're about to go into the pool Bye. 